But first, shocking threats made against gubernatorial candidate Darren Bailey. They are violent, they are graphic, and the man accused of making them is under arrest. Elizabeth Matthews is first at four. That's right, a 21-year-old Chicago man was given a $75,000 bond this afternoon, was placed on electronic monitoring. We're waiting here outside the jail in case he does bond out. Prosecutors say that threatening call happened Friday night after a bar fight here in Chicago. Around 10.30 last Friday, police say a man, Scott Lennox, called State Senator Darren Bailey's Springfield office and left a death threat voicemail. He was arrested Sunday night at his North Lakeshore Drive condo and admitted making that call. Prosecutors in court today revealed that Lennox got in a heated argument with friends after seeing a political TV ad inside that bar. Now, we want to warn you that parts of this vo voicemail that we're going to share are graphic and they're violent. I'm only going to tell you a portion of what is said. Here we go. This is what he's accused of saying. I'm going to skin Darren Bailey alive. If he doesn't kill himself, I will. I know where he lives. I know where he sleeps. I know where his kids sleep. So he better kill himself. And if he doesn't, I am going to kill him. Now, Lennox is now charged with three felonies, threatening a public official, telephone harassment and harassment by electronic communications. Following that message, Bailey asked for more security and the schools that Bailey and his family are associated with even were placed on a soft lockdown. Today, Governor Pritzker reacting to this, quote, the violent rhetoric and division we're seeing across our country is unacceptable. Hatred in any form has no home in Illinois. In a statement, GOP opponent and the victim in this case, Aaron Bailey, says divisive, inflammatory and misleading rhetoric is driving hatred across our state as some attempt to label political opponents as dangerous threats. Whether we agree or disagree on policies, we are all Americans. I pray this young man gets the help he needs. We must bring our state together and fight for the safety and prosperity of every Illinoisan. Prosecutors say Lennox bragged to friends on Snapchat, even calling himself a political terrorist. He is barred from contacting Darren Bailey, any of his employees or any of his family members. Lennox is due back in court next month. Reporting live, Elizabeth Matthews, Fox 32, Chicago. All right.